The cold that we have seen lately may not be enjoyable for everyone, but it is crucial for our crops. Meteorologist Courtney Jacobazzi joins us from the 13 WMAZ Backyard Garden with details on the importance of chill hours. air tallies up what we call chill hours for crops and with La Nina forecasted for the winter that typically brings with it warmer and drier conditions here in the southeast. Now we did have a warm December, but January and even the start of this month has been quite cold, which is welcome for all the plants in the ground waiting for spring to start sprouting. First, let's define a chill hour. A chill hour is defined by temperatures below 45 degrees. Now different crops require different amounts, as do the variety of each crop. According to the Mississippi State Extension, the average range of chill hours for popular crops here in Georgia look like this. Blueberries need anywhere between 150 to 700. Peaches need between 200 to 800. Pecans require about three to 500. And for our friends in North Georgia, apples are the most needy, needing anywhere between 200 to 1,000 chill hours. Now, according to the University of Georgia Weather Network's chilling hour monitor, most places in Georgia have received more than 300 chill hours for 2021 into 2022, keeping our crops right on track for spring. Now we want to see what you are getting ready in your garden for spring as it inches closer and closer. Send those photos to us to 478-752-1309. Again, 478-752-1309 and you might see them in a future backyard garden segment. In the meantime, from the 13 WMAZ backyard garden to yours, I'm meteorologist Courtney Giacobazzi. Oh, thank you, Courtney. Now be sure to join us next week in the 13 WMAZ backyard garden for more tips and tricks on gardening here in central Georgia.